my blood began to boil but I'm gonna break I'm gonna break my I'm gonna break my rusty cage and run I'm gonna break I'm gonna break my I'm gonna break my rusty cage Start a fire, I'm burning diesel, burning dinosaur bones. I'll take the river down to deep water and ride a pack of dogs. And I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break my, I'm gonna break my rusty cage and run. I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break my. I'm gonna break my rusty cage and run. Thank you. Good to see Thank you again. You, Good we, to be with you. We would always bump into each other in hotels on the road. Yeah, all the time. Right. <laughs> you'd always be coming and going. Elevators. <laughs> and Marty Stewart is terrific too, man. He's been here great. Before. Yeah, he's just great. You he know, volunteered to come out to do the show with me. Yeah. And, uh, on the on the album are Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and Marty Stewart and Tom and the boys are busy, but Marty agreed to come out. <laughs> That's great. Now you know I read that you used to have a very high pitched voice. Is that possible? Very high. Yeah. I was a tenor. I was singing Bill Monroe songs. <laughs> yeah. And what happened? Some kind of well, I was. I did very hard work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did very hard work on the farm. Yeah. And I worked all day long with my father one day when I was 17, pulling a crosscut saw, you know, and the sweating and the working hard and all. And I came in the back door of the house at night when I came home, and I was going, "May everybody gonna have religion and glory. Everybody gonna." My mother said, "Who's that?" I said, that's me. And she knew it was me, but she said, keep it up. So <laughs> I sang the whole song. But from that day on, I was, uh, I had a low voice. You know, it's so funny, just listen to you talk. It sounds like you're singing. From that day on, I had a low I mean, you always don't sound like you're singing. <laughs> hey, you want a tissue? You hot day? <laughs> well, uh, from that day on, I had a low voice, although it was not really my choice. I went out and did the best I could. Just as any man would try to well, do good. Worked out okay. <laughs> and you, you're with the president recently. Congratulations on the Kennedy Center honor. That's oh, like the highest you. honor thank you. you can get. 
Did you talk to the president? <clears throat> Well, you know, small talk with the president. What uh, I thought about small talk with the president. We had some time backstage, you know, at intermission of the, right. at the award center. And uh, I thought, you know, I've been at the White House this afternoon and for the dinner and said everything I knew to say to him. What could I say? You know, what else do you talk about to the president of the United States? Because he don't want to talk business. No, you know? no, no. So, so I was standing there looking down, you know, shuffling my feet, and I said, what size shoe do you wear? <laughs> I did. I swear I did. Do you compare shoe sizes? Yeah. He, said, uh, he said, oh, I wear a size 12. And I said, I wear a 13D. <laughs> and he said, he said, you got me beat. That sounds Small like the polite version of it. <laughs> 12? I didn't know he wore a size 12. You see, you learn something every day. Uh, yeah, isn't that interesting? <laughs> Johnny, thank you very much. The new CD is called... Uh, Unchained. Johnny Cash. Thank you, sir. Be right back right after this.